I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Well, good morning. I am up bright and early today because I'm taking my ambulance, my uh, Ghostbuster looking car here, to uh, something called Eek Fest today out in St. Albert. It's kind of like a pop culture fair where people who like, um, you know, all sorts of comic books and movies and pop culture generally <laughs> show up and have fun. So they've asked if I can bring my car down and kind of put it on display. So I'm going to do it. I figure why not, um, you know, give back a little bit to their community. We never charge for this kind of stuff so they can have fun, have the car sitting there. So I've got to get it there and um, <coughs> my wife's going to come by and pick me up in uh, about an hour. So i got to get there quick, get to a car wash and uh, make the old girl look a little more presentable. So the event doesn't start for another couple hours and they're just doing all their setup right now. I've got my ambulance set up front and center right in front of City Hall back there. <laughs> First time uh, I think they've had a Ghostbuster car probably sitting in front of their uh, main City Hall building there. But it uh, looks pretty cool. And I guess the Hearst Club is showing up and they're going to set up all around me and they're doing some kind of Slimer toss, I guess. And <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. Either way, we're having fun with it today and uh, we're going to go check it out with the family later on once it's all ready to go. So the nice thing about coming early to a show is you get to see the setup and the guys from Nalog are here. That's the Northern Alberta Lego users group. And yes, there are clubs for pretty much everything and Lego is so popular. It's like the family jewels now. You go to a garage sale and ask if they got Lego, they'll sell you their left arm before they'll sell you a bucket of Lego. So we're here checking out the setup and we're going to come back later on with the kids and see how it all looks once it's all done. They've even got a little roller coaster set up. That is so cool. I'll zoom in a bit. There it is, it's making the climb. Now how long did it take to build the diamond back? That looks like it had some hours into it. Venom made it here. Oh, he's not here? No. But yeah, it's definitely a... So I've gone home, gotten a bit of a warmer jacket because it's gotten colder outside, but I've also brought my family with me. <laughs> so we're going to go and check out the Lego exhibit, among other things, here at Eek Fest in St. Albert and see what they've set up. So what's this one? Is this all Star Wars, guys? I don't know what this is. Well, that looks like it's Star Wars hangers over there. Look at that giant Enterprise. That thing's got to be five feet long. That would have taken a while to build. Um, Abigail, which one would you want? The pinkest one? That crazy, massive, giant pink house? <laughs> okay. How many stories is that thing, guys? That is what you would do with all the pink Lego you have at home? That seems like an Abigail thing. Hey, which one do you like, Jason? The shark guy and the killer whale guy are just having, like, coffee together. Oh yeah, there's a shark. I see what you're looking at. Right there, there's a shark and a killer whale having coffee. How do you know it's not tea? could be anything really. Look how colorful that is. It could be, let's hope it's not poison. These guys put a crazy amount of work and detail into these things. It's just nuts. It's so cool. Pikachu and a Yoda. This is pretty creative. They did a Where's Waldo out of Lego. And they say you gotta find the guy that has the glasses on. And there is literally a sea of these guys. And so far, I don't see the guy with the glasses. 
He's in there somewhere. So Abigail and Jason, you gotta see if you can find the other glasses. All sorts of stuff, custom made. Caps and hats, and stuffed animals, and stuff for sale. Hey guys, look, magic wands just lying around. And let me eat this. Do you regret I found this? Uh, I don't know yet. Depends on what you have planned. Abracadabra, make the rust disappear on my car. Ding! Uh, Abigail, what's going on with the lady in the box? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Let's have a look. Jason is mesmerized. <laughs> look, it's a lady with no head. What? Or she has a... She's being kept alive with tubes. Yes, thanks to science, we were able to save her. Amazing, right? Can she, can she draw a happy face? Can you draw a happy face, Christine? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty neat. We have any other person? She loves the attention. <laughs> That's really cool. It's a good thing there's a doctor on duty here. Mm -hmm. but she wouldn't be alive without me. <laughs> you lose your head, you gotta come to me. <laughs> what do you think, Steven? That's, That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. There's even some original art down here. The artists have come down, doing their comic book covers and things. It's pretty cool. Is this all you? Yes. Your art? Very nice. Thank you. Very creative to make the words and letters into faces. That's cool. Which ones? Oh, yeah. Yes, the provincial flowers of Canada turned into a map. That's a good idea. That is super cool. Thank you very much. So do the hand, hands move. You've got a hook on the other hand. Got lights for eyes. What do you think of that, honey? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> That's really cool. You've done a great job. Looks great. And even Steven found something he likes doing. Dad, I just hit both. You got both? Which ones? This kid loves target practice. Oh, he's trying to, you trying to do it with both hands? Oh, okay. There's also a little heritage museum attached to the venue. So while we're here, we're gonna look around, kids, and check out some of the stuff in the little museum here. This is their pop culture kind of exhibit. I guess they've done in honor of the event that's going on. I remember having that as a kid, the ad -At. That was one of my favorite toys, the original one. And I shamelessly bought the Lego Back to Future car as an adult because I'm just a big kid, most guys are. You know it's sad when they have a payphone <laughs> oh, in a museum. Do you guys even know how these things work? Uh, you put money in it and then you dial what you want them to do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, we, I only we... know because I watch movies and stuff. Oh, that's, that's like, sad. really old movies. And if you had to make a phone call in an emergency and somebody else was on it, Abigail, you'd have to wait until they were done talking. Or just hang up like that. <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> Oh, uh, not anymore. <laughs> and they have a feature on moccasins and how they're made in here. So I'll walk around and check it out. So the area that we live in, there are large indigenous populations and their crafts are often found out on displays and in museums and just the beadwork, it's lovely. So they put a nice little display here together of moccasins to show off a lot of the different styles. And it says where it's from, Western Woods Cree. Every area would do something just a little bit differently.
Well, it's the end of the day, and I'm glad I was able to have fun with the family, and the car looked pretty good in front of City Hall in St. Albert. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and bye for now.